<laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. Oh, my God. Whatever side of the diaspora that you're on, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I don't know how many of y'all are under a rock um, or how many of y'all are having the privilege to watch these um, Senate hearings with um, Trump's attorney, Cohen. Um, And if you're having a chance to watch any of it, how many of y'all will be honest enough and put away your cognitive dissonance and uh, try to step in somebody else's shoes and try to understand exactly what I mean when I say you are watching full-blown narcissism in full bloom. A lot of y'all get mad because I talk about that 1%, that 1% that started America and how psychotic they were. And they have had a chance to implement their poison Anytime you can work side by side with somebody, nurse their babies, um, again, and then have little components of humiliation every day you wake up is to show you the lot that we're in and how we got to where we are today. Black people had to wake up and one morning they might have woke up and they said, okay, you may no longer bring a suit against a white person. What? He stole my chicken. I can't. Nope. The next law was no black person. I'm not, I'm not saying it exactly in this order, but this is how the, the, the madness started. You may not have any gunpowder or a gun. After you were able to protect yourself and hunt and other things. Now you were all of a sudden depraved of that. So we already knew something on the horizon was going to go awry. We just couldn't figure out how low and how deep the rabbit hole was going to go. So this 1% has diabolically stopped the 1%. I mean, the 1% have actually stopped the majority of mankind from instigating any kind of sustainable relationship together by continuing to interject white, um, what, little laws to segregate them, keep them at odds, because you know if they get together, it'll be another Baker's Rebellion or a situation where the poor people will attack us and we won't be able to take advantage of either one of them. So we'll use all our powers to distract with lies. That is what has happened then and that is what's happening now. When I look at that hearing and I actually saw people trying to scream at Cohen for voluntarily coming there to talk about the lies that Donald Trump and that he helped perpetuate and defend. He took full responsibility and that's the best you can ask for anybody. And here you have the narcissistic crazies angry with him for Talking about what Donald Trump did as opposed to being down, mad at Donald Trump for trying to uh, screw over the whole nation. The projection, the gaslighting, all of it was so prevalent as I sat there and watched these hearings that I said, how could we have survived under these crazy people as long as we have? That's how I know we must be the strongest people on the place of planet Earth. Because there's no way in the world we could have survived this hypocrisy, this chattel slavery, this mental uh, just dogma of the European. 
unless we really we really had some black magic. And we really do have black magic in order to put up with them. Because anybody that's not being racist and and, and looking at this from their heart and looking at it from their intellect, if they have any at all, then how can you be mad at people for being tired of you riding their back? What kind of fool would be mad at a person when you know you stole their stuff? When If I go over to your grandmother's house and steal all of her things and then you come to my house and see your grandmother's stuff and you get angry because you see your family inheritance and your family heirloom sitting up in my house. And instead of me trying to make amends with you and saying, hey, 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 I didn't steal that. You know, hey, maybe my uncle or maybe my my, my great-grandfather did, but look, 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 I know it's been here, but if it belongs to you, then I got to give it back. I got to give it back. And if I, I can't give it back to you the way I did, I have to meet at least pay some type of restitution for it having been and done in the first place. See, and the minute you don't think that that's a um, a whole thought for a group of people because they're black but it's okay for you because you have a different color hue then you're sick and the more I looked at those hearings all I seen was a bunch of sick people I saw the white guy that brought the black lady up there for a prop and if any of you all didn't think anything was wrong with that then you need to check your mental health to parade a black woman out there to prove that Donald Trump is not racist and for her to stand her butt back up in there to be used that way to show you the depths of the mental illness it shows you the depths of it not even from the person that said it but from the person that was willing to stand there and let somebody make a fool out of them use them as a lone token negro I mean, I'm going to tell you, he uh, Cohen's going to come back on the 6th with even probably more explosive testimony because I heard Cummins, Elijah Cummins say that he is going to expect a testimony from Ivanka Trump and uh, Donald Jr., I believe. A lot of people are laughing. I'm not at all because Donald Trump is so unstable and y'all done gave him the codes. All you smart-ass racist people that gave Donald Trump the codes, you don't know what the hell he's going to do because he's unhinged. And as a lot of us have said before, this dude got some kind of personality disorder. He's a complete liar. And anybody who likes that and follows that is a complete liar. They don't have a problem with him sitting there and lying to the American public, lying to people. And have the nerve to get mad at black people or anybody who rejects that type of behavior. You need help. Anybody who follows that in that mantra, you need help. If Donald Trump is your leader <laughs> and he lies, he lies. Everybody around him lies. His behaviors as such as people find feel like it's an honor to work with him to connive and deceit people. That's a personality disorder person. Because for some reason they get a lot of people to do their dirty work for them. And then once you get it from up under their uh, fear, obligation, and guilt, you start going, what the hell happened to me? Just like Cohen. How do I get involved in this serious narcissistic craziness where I'm willing to risk my life? And now I got to go to jail for a guy that wouldn't have did a damn thing for me. Because you see how Donald Trump is treating him. It's all a mess. Europeans, y'all ought to be ashamed of y'all, sir. Because you're psychotic. And this right here, either you, you got to pick a side. Either you stand for justice or you stand for bullshit. You don't really have no other option. And I know that black and white thinking is something that a lot of people don't want to uh, uh, talk about. But in this case, I don't know what to say. I don't know what the gray area is. What's the gray area? 
between hell and a liar. I don't know. Listen, like what you hear, subscribe, share, and I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.